We're getting a closer look at a suspicious package situation that happened at Park Ridge this week, and we have video to show you. Chattanooga police say a suspicious package was left at the hospital, prompting a lockdown earlier yesterday morning. Now, the package was blown up by the bomb squad. Local 3's Xavier Harris spoke with a patient who was at the hospital. That person caught the explosion on cell phone video. Xavier, this had to be scary for all the patients out there. Hey, Calvin, very scary indeed. I spoke with Stephanie Stambridge, and she says nurses and doctors told all of the patients to get to the back of the hospital, and they weren't allowed to leave or no one was allowed to come into the hospital. She says she asked doctors what was going on, but she wasn't getting much information, so she feared the worst. She thought something was going to happen or there was an active shooter, so she escaped out of the hospital and came right here behind me, behind this tree, and she says when she got here, that's when she realized police had her car surrounded where that uh, package was detonated and that was just happening just a few yards down the road Ooh, that scared the out of me uh, and it literally blew me on my butt Stephanie Stanbridge says for three hours she was hiding behind a tree at Park Ridge Medical Center afraid at first, I, they weren't, all the cops were, you know, in little huddles, but nobody was really scrambling around. You know, I didn't really understand what was going on. She says it happened around 2 a.m. She was sitting in the lobby and here's over the intercom. We hear that the hospital is going on lockdown. Stanbridge says all of the nurses grab patients and put them in hallways. She says they were instructed to stay away from all windows, doors, and no one could leave or enter the building. She says she asked what was going on, but could not get any information. I did at that moment tell them that I was completely uncomfortable with sitting there. Thinking the worst, Stanbridge says she wanted to get out of the hospital to get to her car and get home. She says as the nurse turned her back. And boom, we booked it on the stairs. We just took off down the stairs. And I was like, I don't want to be stuck here. She says by the time she made it out of the hospital, police had the area around her car blocked off. She says still not knowing what was going on, she downloaded a police scanner app. And what they were doing is they were doing the VIN numbers to the cars that were in that designated area of parking. According to CPD, a suspicious package was left behind by an individual. CPD responded and our bomb squad was requested to respond to the scene. After examining the package, the decision was made to dispose of the package using a controlled detonation by our bomb squad, which Stanbridge believes should have been communicated to patients. I feel like there should have been in the least little bit, at least information like, hey, you know, this is what we know. You know, don't panic. You know, the cops are here. Stanbridge says she only went to the hospital to get blood work. And she says because of how the situation was handled, she's glad she left and won't be returning. They did call me the next day and was like, is this something that you want to finish? And I was like, absolutely not there. Now, I did reach out to Park Ridge Medical Center for a statement, and they responded saying that they began their operation. They continued their operation before daybreak, and they referred all of our other questions to the Chattanooga Police Department. For now, we're live in Chattanooga. I'm Xavier Harris, Local 3 News.